Yeah, and he is a big time heavyweight. I mean, let's take a look at some of his accomplishments inside the octagon. 1.85 knockdowns per 15 minutes, which is the highest rate in UFC heavyweight history. That's pretty incredible. And then, of course, he has the latest finish in UFC heavyweight history, which we saw against Alistair Overeem with just four seconds left in the fight. And speaking of Rosenstrike, Laura caught up with him earlier today. Thank you so much, guys. Well, Jarzinho, another big fight week headed into your main event against Cyril Gaon. Um, you were really open about your mindset going into that JDS fight and what that fight meant to you. What's the emotion like this time out? No, uh, I mean, um, yeah. after the loss with Francis, um, I got back to the gym, realized what happened, and I was like, this can happen again. So I went in the gym, trained harder, even harder than I did before. And yeah, and the same mindset go, goes through this one. Go in the octagon, make sure I get my hands raised, and go back home with the victory. Well, this will be Cyril's first five-round fight. You've proven that you are dangerous to the very last seconds of a five-round fight. Do you feel like a longer fight will favor you? Um, now, this guy, he has condition. He can move. So I'm going to see where the fights want to go create my opportunities, and any error, any mistake he makes, I will be able to finish the fight. On paper, this is very much a striker versus striker matchup. Of course, you have a wealth of kickboxing experience, but he's got some tricky submissions. If this fight does hit the canvas, how do you see your ground game matching up with his? No, I think my ground game just was developed, and um, um, how should I say it? Uh, can't find a word, but uh, I feel good about it. Uh, I keep developing, learning the MMA game, and I feel good. So uh, it doesn't matter where the fights want to go and go. I'm there and I'm ready. This fight comes up almost exactly two years from your UFC debut. Um, what's it like to look back and see everything that you have been able to accomplish in such a short period of time? Nah, that's great. Uh, my run in the UFC till now, and this is it's just the beginning. That's how I see it. Um, become champion. That's where the real the real job start, and then to stay champion. That's the that's the that's the that's the real job. Cause being in the UFC is easy, but stay in the UFC is even harder. And become champion. That's what Hardest we're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. Uh, Dana, that's two weeks in a row now. We've had the big boys main uh, eventing here. Number four ranked Jarzinho Rosenstrike taking on number seven ranked Cyril Gaon. What uh, what are you excited about for this fight? Um, well, look at last week. Last week was incredible. Uh, the first round was great. Second round, you, you know, we, we know what happened. You never know what's going to happen with the, with the heavyweights. Um, both of these guys have big power. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always fun and exciting when you have a heavyweight main event. It's been amazing to see both of them make pretty quick work of this division. Gone still undefeated. What does that say to you about this new generation of heavyweight contenders? Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of talent coming up. We, you know, the heavyweight division was thin for a while there for us back in the day. But, um, you know, there's a lot of talent out there now. And we, we always believe that as the sport started to grow, guys that possibly would have played other sports uh, would get into fighting. And, and here we are today. Of course, we have the rematch coming up between Nganu and Stipe. As you said, Derek Lewis wowed a lot of people last week. We might have another potential contender after tomorrow night. Uh, sort of an embarrassment of riches at the top of the division now, but a good problem to have. Yeah, no, it's a great problem to have, especially in this division. Like I said, um, you know, when you have all these guys... I love the fact that um, Derek Lewis has taken things serious now. Got a strength and conditioning coach. Um, you know, he was having back problems before when, when he wasn't training as hard as he is now. And, uh, you know, he's tr completely transformed himself and looks like a guy who could win the heavyweight title. Um, I, I think a lot of people would love to see the rematch with, with him and Francis, you know, two um, massive punchers. A lot of big options there. Very exciting stuff. And co-main event, of course, Nikita Krylov taking on uh, Magomed Ankalaev. A fight I think a lot of people imagine the judges will probably not be necessary. What do you like about this matchup? I like everything about that fight. It's what I picked this week. Uh, if, you, if, if you don't know, now you know. So I, I expect that to be one of the best fights of the night. We are staring down the barrel of UFC 259 next week. A massive three-title fight pay-per-view card. I think everyone's interested to see how Israel Adesanya is going to do at light heavyweight. But that card is just stacked top to bottom. In your estimation, is that one of the biggest cards that you've put together in recent history? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun one. Obviously, um, the greatest female fighter of all time, Israel Adesanya. And finally, Sterling gets a shot at the title. So, um, 
again, those those are three fun fights too. We're headed into a very big week indeed. The boss, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.